This episode of Let's Play is brought to you by the band Born Empty. They're a really awesome band. If you don't know who they are, look them the fuck up because you'll love their music, period. Hey gang, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Breath of the Wild. So in the previous episode, we activated that tower. We met with the third of four great fairies, not counting the great horse fairy. And now we are on our way to Rito Village, uh, where I guess we're gonna calm that there, Divine Beast. And that's just gonna be what happens. And... You know you can go around that, right, girl? Oh! Well. Oh! Uh, let's see. What's good for whacking? This is good for whacking. Ow, 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 ow. Stand up, Link. Stand up. And there we go. And there goes my opal. Whoo! These are gonna come in handy when I need to upgrade my uh items. Or you know, just for selling in general. Alright, onwards. You know what? Whenever I find rare materials, that's whoa, hold on. I can I can put the horse in reverse. Nice. Okay. Let's go. There's a wind blowing. Yup, that's a narrow bridge. You should definitely take it slow there. Yup. Horse says, uh-uh, no. Alright. all foes, but let's go. Run him down. Yeah. Go! All right. Hey, there's another stable. Means there's a shrine around here. Where's that shrine? There's always a shrine by the stables. And hey, there's Rita's stable. With my good friend Koss. 
What's up, Koss? Oh. Ha! <sighs> Promise. Mm. To... On second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all the ancient songs, I would tell you of my promise back in my hometown. But listen to me blathering on. Not right now. Uh. Can go around here? <sighs> Spicy! I need that Bernie tingle. I need curry rice. Now I have Hillian... Rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron Spice. Oh, it's a good thing I have some Goron Spice. <laughs> curry for what ails you? All yours. <laughs> Here, your 50 rupees. Thank! I'm above 100 rupees again. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Perhaps I should take a quick rest. Give me that soft bed. Give me till morning. A full 24 hours of rest, geez. Okay, not a full 24 hours, but what are you up to? Good morning. I'm surprised Rito aren't running this one, but whatever. What do we got here? Wild berries. I'll take them. And that's a woodcutter's axe. There's another woodcutter's axe. There's a lot of firewood that I'll just happily scoop up. Pretty nicely wooded area. Where's this one even lead to? Oh, excuse me, sir. I didn't see you there. Go fuck yourself. Come on. Where are you coming from? This all shield is badly damaged. That's all right. Okay, so that's the shrine. Oh, hello. Bantha wheat. Excellent. So anyways, now that I've gone and sidetracked myself again. Um. Yeah. On Torito Village. But where does that one lead? Just around there? What's there? I need a question mark symbol. For like... Yeah. What's the flight range? I remember coming across that. You can just do flying stuff there, I guess. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the jump button. I'm sorry. My apologies. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Did you need something? Who are you? 
I'm uh, Jasane of the Rito tribe. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori, where the men are fine archers and the women better sing and the women better singers. You being a highly, and I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Okay, so. Well, this is a cute little area. Are you talking about that shrine up there? Because I definitely see it. Where are you guys going to even run to? Okay, so there, oh, there's a mallet. Do I have room for a weapon? No, it's okay. Don't need a mallet. There was a hearty salmon in here. <laughs> Look how it's squatting. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. Onwards. Oh, you can't go upstairs. Oh! Copy. I guess it wasn't going to do that while I had, um, on horse. While I had on horse. Man, that thing is literally just circling around that village. That must be terrifying for these people. Rito Village. Greetings. Masley. What's going on? Did you see that beast in the sky? That's D Divine Beast Vomido. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. Oh. They say it used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Thankfully, the thing only shoots at anything flying up above the village. Uh. But still, it's pretty demoralizing for us, Rita, to have to fly so low to the ground. Any other questions? Can't talk right now. I'm gonna take a picture of you with your spear. Hold still so I can get a good picture of you and your spear. <sighs> Bro. For real, dude. You wanna fight? Alright. Now that you're holding the fuck still. There we go. That's all I wanted. <sighs> okay, what's up here? All right, I gotta climb to it. Makes sense. Hello. Ooh, you're pretty. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. This is Swallow's Roost, Rita's Village premiere and only inn. 
Rita down bed. I will warn you, sleep a night on this bed and you will never want to sleep on a stable bed ever again. <laughs> I'll eat my own tail feathers. Guaranteed! Mm, never mind. All right, stop by again whenever you're feeling tired. Oh, there is a thing for it. Of course, of course there is. All right, who is this guy? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Fison. So, have you seen it? Divine Vis Vom Mado? I saw it. Freaking out because of it, but I have a big but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asked me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Okay, well, at least you have ambition. What do we got here? Oh, it's the, uh... Okay, well, while I'm here, might as well... Stamina. I like how he, she has all these pretty flowers. I love it. Okay, go and bring peace to Hyrule. Yes, ma'am. So let's let's slap that shrine on my map before. Well, what do we got in here? Got Snow Quill Trowler. Oh, fuck yeah! Okay, well I'm definitely gonna need to come here again. Are you? Oh, you're adorable. What's wrong, little bird child? Uh. Molly's dad got hurt and told his dad disappeared. Oh no, mom and dad sis and my little sis are all sad. Uh. I can't do anything to help. Small burb, small burb. There's another small burb. Sure did. No! Oh, will make me go sing. Go to sing. Oh! I mean, I feel bad that Molly's dad, Mr. Hearth, got hurt, but but I definitely know I don't want to practice singing. Aww. But singing is good. Singing is so good. Hot lid. Okay. Well, if you don't want to go singing, that's your prerogative. So let's, let's talk to you, a birdie. Aww. Want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. <clears throat> Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest. When suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. And as he got a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed. Well, what was it? I always get sleep around that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, 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 I know where the big tree is, though. It's over there, you see it? Okay. The Snow White birdie from that tree. Gotcha. Hmm, what did that Snow White birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. The bird in the mountains. You met that white birdie? What did he swallow? Well, did I? A shrine? Oh! You always were such a prankster. Oh! Okay! Okay! <laughs> I guess I did the thing. But now I'm extremely curious, what the heck? Oh, okay. I mean, if you say so. I won't question you. 
Hi there. Yeah. Hello. You're, you adventurers are crazy. What? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, what? You see Divine Beast Vomado flying uh, around up there? The village in disarray thanks to that thing. Mm -hmm. If I were a properly trained soldier, I'd go straight at the beast and bring it down. So let's see. Ow. Hi. Man, look at you and your fantastic hair. This is not your concern. That cursed monster. Oh! New weapon! Snap a picture of that. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it. Not like I can use it in my condition. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're so understanding. Okay, so the shrine is right over there. And... Okay, that's, a, that's what the pots look like over here, it appears. What do we got over here? Pretty green birdie. Kiwanis, you always insist on worrying your poor mother. What's the matter? My youngest daughter, Kiel, wants to go to Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters, and ever since that beast appeared, they've been getting needier by the minute. Mm. At times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could be a kid again and think only of myself. But that is the thing about being a parent. You have to be bigger than your children. He's a big jerk. Kia, watch your language. But, but... <laughs> okay, so we're gonna slap this shrine down. And you know what? We're gonna do this shrine. Might as well. I'm here. You know, I wonder if I can bring Wolf Link onto the Divine Beasts. That'd be interesting. What have you got for me? I hear machinations. Windmills! I can see that! Hmm. Door number two? Treasure chest and a... Uh, huh. Okay. Easy peasy treasure chest. I'm alright with that. Ancient core. All right. So, now back to this. Do I have to make all of them do a turn? How does this work? Okay. So... Do that. Do that. that. Okay, that makes all those turn.
Oh, okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay, cool. Easy. Easy peasy. Now I just need to find all the arrows that I used. Because I am a poor man. There's one. There's a couple. Okay. Awesome. Easy shrine. Easy orb. Okay, so, I suppose I should slap on my uh, Free the Divine Beasts quest. I'll bet whoever I have to speak to is up at the top of this here thing on the jig. There's another person. Got the Rogue One symbol there. Ah. Hello! Say, Traveler, I take it you've seen the Divine Beast. Everyone is at a loss what to do. I can't help but sigh every time I look skyward. When will we be able to go back to living a relaxed life here? Dum 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 la la la. Ever since the Divine Beast... Mado showed up. My singing voice just hasn't been the same. Alright. Hello. You and your fantastic hair. What's wrong? Never mind. Forget it. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll come back to you after I deal with Naboris. Or, uh... Mado. G'day. <laughs> Good response. Great kids are great greeters. That's what my dad always says. Oh, listen to this. Pro dad promised he'd play with me later. Cool. Totally. Spread your wings at the flight range and it's like, whoosh. You go flying way high. Flight range. All the way over there. What an adorable child. Oh, got a quest. Hi. Oh, you're a person. Hello. G'day. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just realized that you're a Highland. You're just wandering around Hyrule trying to find yourself? Yes. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is seriously a hole. In Gruda Town, they've got jewelry to buy. Zora's Domain is always a hoot with all of the weird spiritual fish people. Aww. But here, I just want to go home already. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he'd be better bringing me a baked apple. Holy crap, lady. Oh! You a big old owl. Uh, do I have a baked apple on me? Nope. Uh, let's make a baked apple really quick. Oop. 
Save this man of divorce. Jeez, lady, you are harsh. Okay, baked apple, boom. That's all it's gonna take to quell you. I know that smell. You've got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sure thing. You serious? Cheers, just hold out your hand. Hell yeah! Now if only, uh, now if I could only get my husband to cook me a baked apple every once in a while. I've got a second stomach and a hollow leg for baked apples. Bring me as many as you possibly can. Okay. I'm scared of the bird monster. I hope it doesn't eat me. Did the village owl tell you about it? I'm a little scared. I'm doomed. What should I do? Ha ha! Ah, oh, visitor. Welcome to. Oh. Oh. An object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me. Where are my men? I am Kanali, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Van Mado. Oh. Oh, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant and inheritor of a Sheikah slate. Ah, oh. oh, forgive me. Champion Descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. Uh, how shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Vamado, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast, but you must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Oh. Tebe and Hearth tried to confront Mado, but it did not go well, and Hearth was injured. Tebe escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mado alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Tebe. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Vomido. Okay! So, I guess that's gonna have to do it. But this, are you the person I need to talk to? Seems like it. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, gang. Uh, join me next time where we start embarking on the quest uh, to free Divine Beast Vamado. So until, talk to Tepa's White Saki. Okay, awesome. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye! Bye. Uh...